There's another report on the post office holdup, Kit. There have been half a dozen since we established post offices in the new territory. Does it look like the work of one gang? Well, it's hard to tell. Most of the witnesses have been murdered. Well, this is very bad. It'll be worse if the people lose faith in their post office department. Kit, the Army said that I could borrow you. With your consent, of course. Show me the area where the gang's been operating. Thanks, Kit. Well, they've struck here, here, and here. Now, here in Briscoe, everything's been quiet so far. Briscoe? That's a mountain town right near the Utah border, isn't it? See, si, I know it well. It reminds me of a very pleasant stopover on my way to California. The sheriff's been warned. But frankly, it's wide open. How would you like to make another stopover, Toro? Maybe not so pleasant this time. With you, amigo, who knows what will cross our path? We'll keep in touch, Inspector. I'll be waiting to hear from you, kid. You're going. Looking for the Masters gang. Why? I'll tell Tom Masters when I see him. <laughs> What's a kid like you want with Tom Masters? If you're one of his gang, you can take me to him and find out. All right. Right ahead. join up with you. <laughs> Shut up! Let's hear this kid out. How'd you find us? My dad owns the general store in Briscoe. When one of your men came in to stock up on supplies, I took a chance and followed him. Did you hear that? A kid. He spots you when you come down for supplies. Suppose he'd been a lawman. All right. Suppose he was. That's when are we afraid of the law. Don't fight, you two. We're not hiding up here. We're waiting. The only reason we're doing all right is because we keep our tracks covered. That's no reason for Will not to be more careful. Look, you go back to your father's store and forget you ever found us. You want to stay healthy. Now, wait a minute. I can shoot and I can ride and I'm not afraid of the law. I told you, forget you ever saw us. We're not taking on any young punks. Now see, he gets out of here. All right, come on. Come on. Gentlemen, you name it and I'll cook it, but it better be beef stew. You know, senor, I was just about to order that. And maybe some coffee, too. Okay, I'll see if I can find some. Say, ain't you Kit Carson? That's right. Now, how about something to eat, huh? We're hungry. Okay. I recognize you, Kit. Is that good or bad? Well, it might be good. Strangers in town, huh? No, no rough stuff, Joe. Mind your own business. You better be good. You know who that is? No. That's Kit Carson, the famous scout and lawman. Kit Carson? You mean that's Carson sitting over there? That's right. Kit Carson, the famous lawman. All right, Masters. Watch me go. So you're Kit Carson. You see, Kit, loose travels fast. That's right, son. I'm Carson. Famous Army Scott, lawman, Indian fighter. Pretty tough man, ain't you? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Right now, I'm a pretty hungry man. Ain't nobody ever got the best of you, have they, Carson? Oh, I've had my lumps here and there. Caramba, we eat at last. Now, would you mind stepping back, son, uh, and give us some eating room? 
Draw, Carson. Now, wait a minute, son. What's the matter with you? What's bothering you, Chiquito? I said draw. Well, I don't draw against you. Now, why don't you listen? <laughs> Do that. He'll be all right. Just pour some cold water on him. Would you mind repeating that order, please? Right away, Mr. Carson. What's the matter, amigo? He deserved it. I didn't want to do it, Toro. No? Would you rather he shot you so he can make a reputation for himself? I'm the hombre who shot Kate Carson. Look out for me. I'm a big, bad outlaw. It's not funny, Toro. That boy got a bad start somewhere for some reason. He's going to get hurt someday. Well, it's about time you get back. What kept you so long? Did you go to the post office? Well, that's easy. We've got no problem there. But Kit Carson and his pal El Toro are in town. So? Well, I don't think they're just passing through. And that's not all. Remember our little tough friend? The one who wanted to join us? Yeah, what about him? Had a fight with Carson. Tried to get him to draw. Got his brains knocked out instead. Ah, uh, that's bad. Trying to make an impression, I guess. You know that little fool? He's liable to get us in trouble getting. You'd better calm him down, Tom. There's no telling what he might do. Yeah, I'll calm him down, all right. Will. Yeah. You know that little gunslinger that came around to see us? Sure. I want you to take him out. Never mind. I'll take care of it. Sheriff. I don't see why we don't hold up the government stage. Take away the payroll before it ever reaches the post office. Well, it's like I told you. That stage is going to be guarded by troops. And we're not going to be fools enough to tackle the army. Now, I've never steered you wrong yet, have I? Everything's been set perfect. Let's not lose our head. I know, but Carson's in town. Carson's going to have his own troubles. But somebody put a bug in that waiter's ear down at the K.A. about the shooting. And it's going to be all over town why that kid was bushwhacked. Uh, yeah. Will, leave it up to me. Rose will tip us off when the payroll shipment hits the post office. Then we'll crack the post office like we've always done. Carson will be busy, you reckon, huh? Too busy to worry about us. Yes, and Carson was plenty sore, Joel, for what he'd done. He sure walloped him around. And you reckon it was Carson who bushwhacked Joel last night? Yeah, it was either him or that sidekick of his, that El Toro. Well, I don't know. Carson's an army scout. He's got a good reputation. I don't think he'd go around ambushing youngsters. I do. Carson's quick on the trigger. That's his reputation. I demand you arrest him. Will you sign the complaint? I sure will. And you've got plenty of evidence, Sheriff. The waiter here saw the fight, saw my son give Carson a beating, until both Carson and his partner jumped him and knocked him out. Should have seen the boy. And then they had to finish it off by shooting him in the back. Okay, I'll draw up the complaint. You sign it, and I'll serve the warrant on Carson El Toro. You know, it's a terrible thing. That lad was only 18 years old. Perhaps he was trying to be tough again. Nobody seems to know. There wasn't a single witness, and he was shot in the back. Well, I hope it don't tie into them outlaws. I'm looking for that payroll to come in tomorrow morning. And when it does, I'm going to put it right back there in that safe. When is the payroll supposed to be picked up? 
Well, as soon as the foreman gets here from the construction camp. But I don't know when that's going to be. I could open that vault myself with a hairspin. Uh, just a moment, bud. That's the latest thing in safes, straight from Pittsburgh. And anyhow, I'm going to have a guard on it, night and day. Nevertheless, it'll be a great temptation. El Toro and I better stand close by just in case. That is after the money gets in the safe. Is them government orders? Them's government orders. Mm -hmm. All right. Just a minute, you two. I've got a warrant for your arrest. Me? You and your partner. Sheriff, why? For the murder of Joel Sloan last night. Wait, I, I had a fight with the boy. Sure, I was forced into it. But murder? Sheriff, you're talking to Kit Carson, working for the United States government. I know all about that. But I'm working for the township of Briscoe. And one of the citizens of Briscoe signed a complaint against you two for the murder of his son. Where's your proof? Anybody see us kill the boy? That'll all be decided in court, Carson. Meanwhile, you and El Toro will have to go to jail. But I'm here on official business. That don't excuse murder, Carson. Now, you'd better come along. Well, any other time, I'd be happy to oblige, Sheriff. But there's big government payroll coming in, and El Toro and I were sent down here to help guard it. I reckon the local authorities ain't good enough for that. Well, I'll look after it while you and your pal are in the Husqua. Now, come on. <laughs> Sorry to do this, Sheriff. But you have the wrong men, and I don't have time to prove it to you. Come on up, Toro. Over there. You'll never get away with this, Carson. I'll take my chances. Come on. No. The chief inspector wanted us to grab the gang that's been holding up the post offices. What about the sheriff and his posse? Did you ever play hide-and-go-seek when you were a kid, Toro? I've been playing that all my life. Then this won't be anything new. We'll grab the gang and give ourselves up to the sheriff and prove we didn't kill the boy. Who do you suppose did kill him and why? Well, he was young and he probably made a lot of enemies because he wanted to be an outlaw. Let's see what we got in the saddlebags in the way of food. I can tell you right now, beans. Oh, well. Barbecue jackrabbit and beans wouldn't be bad. Uh, you get the jackrabbit. <laughs> Office? Yes, they were carrying it in when I left town. And you were right, Tom. It was brought in by the troopers. Yeah. You're always right. Let's go. Wait a minute. Where's Carson? That's what the sheriff and his posse would like to know. Well, like I said, they'll keep Carson and his partner busy. Yeah, yeah. You're always right, like I said. Let's get the payroll and get out of here. I'm tired of this place. Well, you know, for once, I think you're right. Let's get the town. I'd better go along. Yeah. Now, we'll get the rest of them in. And if anything goes wrong, we'll meet back here. Get back to town. Now's the time, Toro. Say, the sheriff and his posse may be out a long time. They may even trail us after this camp. Well, no, then they can have the coffee. We won't be able to drink. Vamonos. The sooner the better. The gang's gonna hold out that post office. Now's the time. See, with the sheriff on a wild goose chase and you and I here. What are we waiting for? Thank the fire, Toro. <laughs>
riders asleep in Indian camp. Yes, and twice as dangerous. You go around to the back of the post office and guard the rear door. Perhaps it's none of my business, but who do you think will get here first, the sheriff or the outlaws? It's hard to tell. My guess is that the sheriff is just about up to our camp by now. Let's get going. I thought the sheriff had you in tow. Yeah, don't worry about him. Is the payroll in the safe? Sure. And between that guard and me, we can take care of it. When is it supposed to be picked up? Well, maybe tonight, maybe in the morning. The farmer from construction camp is on his way in here. Well, well Toro and I will stand by just in case. And forget about the sheriff. Oh, I can forget about him, all right. But can he forget about you? That's my worry. Boy, don't seem to worry very much, does he? They've been here, all right. Looks like they're headed back to town. Al, you come with me. The rest of you keep looking. Down to the post office road and take a look around. Out in front, and his friends in back. Well, that's too bad for them. Rose, I'll tell you what you do. First word out of either of you will be a last. It's locked. This will hang all of you. In that case, we won't mind taking a few people along with us. And you'll be the first if you don't open that safe. Suppose I don't. Well, there'll be a lot of bloodshed, and we'll get it open anyway.
matter, ma'am? The trouble at the post office. Carson and his friend are pulling a stick up. Sheriff, the men you're after are inside. Keep your lies to yourself. Sheriff, this is a terrible mistake. Yes, the mistake is yours. What a break. All right, you two, inside. You'd better get help for the postmaster, Sheriff. He's hurt. Get a doctor. I'm warning you, Sheriff, it's a trick. That's what you'd like it to be. Thanks to you two men, we've caught the real outlaws. I'll see that you're rewarded for this. Thanks, Sheriff. In that case, we'll take it right now. All right, Sheriff. Now it's your turn to drop your guns. Just stay there and you won't get hurt. Get the bag. Thanks a lot, Kit, El Toro. You two saved me from the biggest mistake of my life. That goes for me, too, Kit. That girl sure left an impression on me. If you think you've got an impression, Omega, look at that knot on my head. At least uh, you didn't lose your heads. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Toro. <laughs> 